can't tell us nothing. I know you guys asking what that means. Well, what I want you guys to do, this is not a magic show, I want you to ask me anything that you would like to have advice on. How do you um, tell your boss that she's bad? How do you tell your boss that she's bad? Is that, your, is that, is that all? And how, like, you should do your job. You should do your job, okay. So, I'm sure everyone in here who has a job has a shitty boss. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> if you have a boss, they're shitty. So, with that being said, something I like to do is you should go to your restroom. You should wipe your ass. You should fold it, put it in a card. <laughs> Mail it to your boss. <laughs> and be there when they open it. <laughs> and when they open it, and it has a, a toilet paper with a, either a streak of shit or a smudge of shit, you can say, because you're a shitty boss, okay? <laughs> Hold up, I'm gonna let you finish that for in a second, but first I just wanna say that we don't send enough cards as a nation. We need to send more cards for just any event. You woke up this morning, here's a card. Maybe like $5 in there too, who knows? Uh, you, know, you, you made it to work without getting to wreck today, good for you. Here's a card. I'm gonna let you finish, but you know what I don't want to do? I'm fucking read. Why the hell do you read shit? I just want people to tell me what to fucking do. I don't want to read anything. I don't want to read uh, a card. I don't want to read how I'm supposed to uh, change a tire uh, to my car. I just don't want to have to read at all. I would just love it if someone could just tell me. Hold up, hold up. I got something. Hold up. I'm going to let you finish. But cars are completely the way to go. All this multi-transport things like buses and crap, let's put that in the dumpster. When you're on a bus and like you have a heart attack, you're going to be fucking up everybody else's Let's do away with buses. Everybody drive a car. Kids. Oh, I mean, like you should send your preschooler. Try to figure out how to teach them how to drive. I mean, just put them in a car and let them go. Everybody. I'm going to let you finish. But have you heard of dogs being able to drive cars? Dogs are getting too freaking smart, and we need to dumb them right back down. I don't know about you, but it makes me really uncomfortable when I see a dog that can do a trick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry if my dog, uh, you, you're looking at him with like a scowl, did he growl at you or something? It just, I just, I'm no. sensing some bad energy with, with Scruffy right here. Yeah, yeah, there's a reason for that. He threw a stick. Yeah, he went and got it. <laughs> yeah, he I played fetch with him. What are you trying to do? <laughs> Dog's mind. It's like it's like the, the relationship of the master and the dog. Like he goes, he's a retriever. He just retrieves sticks. You want? Do you want to be a slave to that dog? <laughs> how, how do you I want that leash to be reversed? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Man, I, you better watch yourself, man. <laughs> do you know someone who's? If those dog brains get any bigger, we're all fucked. <laughs> I, I don't see the problem with letting my dog do my taxes. <laughs> no! Get those out of here! Sorry. Sorry, man. I had to come over right away when I heard those taxes. Congress! <laughs> Why is your dog doing your... Don't you know how to do your own taxes? I do, but he likes to do it. <laughs> I'm gonna let him, like, take the lead off. You can pick, pick him up. Come back here. What are you trying to do, huh? What game are you trying to let on to you? <laughs> Hey, let, 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 don't let him go. Typical. Typical. You made him cry. <laughs> it's gonna make me cry when they're riding us like horses. Hold up. <laughs> so, so then, so then, right? He picks me up by the scruff of my neck, right? Well, he's like, like, what? what are you doing? What are you doing? Are you serious? Right. So I had to go. Home. I had to go completely dog on him. I went. Woo! Out. I mean, they're walking around with their human skin privilege, yeah. just thinking they're running everything. They don't know. We got something to offer too. 
no, we might even be getting smarter than this. Smart. <laughs> hey, uh, Fido, uh, is it okay if I drive today? You've been driving the whole week, and you know, I feel like I'm giving you, like, I'm, I'm empowering you. Right. But you know, I also miss driving. But how, how long? How long? Did I like run around between your feet and do those little tricks for you? You know, let you pet my head, let you dress me up in Halloween costumes. I have no idea about. What do you mean you broke dog fit toe? You I'm started talking to him? Well, look, he was, like, he was like trying to get me to stop driving. You, know, you take away my independence, I've got nothing. Too late. Things gonna start coming on to us. Damn it, you're right. I probably shouldn't have let him in. Stand up for the four legs, okay? You can stand up. What, what, what do we do? We need to protest? What do we gotta do? Yeah, we gotta go, go to Washington. What do you wanna do? We need to go, we, yeah, we need to represent the 1%. 1%? Yeah. That's right, Adam. Yeah. Right. That's right. That's right. And brains to Washington, D.C. I'm gonna rent a van. I'm gonna get this credit card. I'm gonna get some from her. You know, get a van. You know, you know, a big one, you know, because Shep, you know, he got a lot of hair. Oh, God. Yeah. That, that Russian terrier's got a go, man. Yeah. He's got way too much. talking about me. I know my name. Chef, you got tiny ears, bro. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Chef, listen, no offense, bro, uh -huh. but I think it's time for a cut. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You, you Russian terriers, you, you're pretty big already. Yeah. You know, you, you put all your ears, man. At least cut the ears. I'm, I'm really talking about the whole body. I mean, you're going to take up a lot of space in the van. We're going to DC. We're going to stand up for the 1%. 1%. Four legs. <laughs> Come on, you know I like to go all natural. <laughs> you know you're a very flamboyant. Yeah. yeah. You know what, it, you, Chef, you're right. I'm being like a human. You see me? Do you see? I'm imposing my ideas about what you should look like. Right. Right. You know? right. That, that was wrong. I mean, my brain is far more developed than the humans that, that, that we are, we're around. So I should just let you be free, Chef. Do what you want to do. Chef? Chef? Uh, my shampoo bottle is kind of light. Shout out to <laughs> I took a shower with my Del Sassoon, man. Yeah, I know. You couldn't wait until the shampoo appointment at PetSmart. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> hey! Gosh, you don't have to show your teeth, man. I feed you every day. You've heard the expression, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Oh! Yeah. Oh, he went there. Yeah. <laughs> don't bite the hand that feeds me. Yeah. Huh? What, what about what about the, 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 the dog that gives you companionship, huh? You've been alone for 17 months, and I've been there by your side, listen to all your sob stories. Cut <laughs> three months ago. <laughs> so shut, man. It's like, <laughs> I love you all dearly. Oh, that makes sense. Well, 
Oh, what kind of business school did this guy go to? We yeah. call him this shit? <laughs> I knew you were going to do this, Antoine. I knew you were going to do this. We all knew I was yeah. going to do this. Yeah. 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 Nobody ever told you that they loved you, huh? Yeah. You had to get it from your shitty boss. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're turning over a newbie. Oh, no. Oh, baby, you're home. You have a present for me? I'm going to take my robe off. Yeah. <laughs> you never give me anything anymore. Well, you know. We, we you know, don't sleep in the same bed anymore. Yeah. And <laughs> big present is a big long quote. Yeah. I wonder what you it know, is. You sick your mother on me every time you're mad. Oh, mom, um, that that got you a gift? Yes. Oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my camera. I'm gonna get my camera. I'm gonna get my camera. I can record this moment. Look, like, look, oh, it's so sweet. Yeah. It's just, it's he's just never, your room. he's never seen you give me. No, 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 no. It's just, it's just for adults. It's just for adults. Look, go ahead and call. No, call your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna wait till everyone shows up. Okay, I'm gonna hold the boat right here. No, 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 no. Just go ahead, just go ahead and open it. It's really, it's really just for your eyes. I want my baby to be in here. Okay, I want him to see what we have. I'm trying to teach him. Okay, I don't find the least she's children, so. <laughs> okay. Look, it's really, it's really not, it's really not necessary. It's really just, just for my wife. Why? Just why is it necessary? Oops, stupid. Bow is gone. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. You ready? Never my mom gifts at all. Get your cameras out. Very nice. We all have cameras. Oh, hey, I have my phone. The first time my mom. I, you just, it, 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 look how small the box. Is. Just first time. What do you think it is? Maybe it's like a diamond. Oh. <laughs> is no, it a diamond? It's no, a diamond. No, no, it's a diamond. It's a diamond, guys. You're gonna get to a diaper when you got married. I know. Yeah. Let me just rubber band on my feet. <laughs> I wouldn't even open it if I were you. I mean, just the idea that he gave you a box. Right. You could just hold on to that box and just show it to everybody. It's much bigger than any diamond. Guys, 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 it's my first proposal. I'm oh my God. God. Ah. Hold up. Girl, you've been walking around with that box for two weeks now. You <laughs> Me a gift. And sit down, let me hurry up and do your hair, because this didn't even make sense. No, you were early today. You know, you said you wanted to get in and get out. You had something special. I kind of want, I kind of wanted everyone, the ladies to be here. You know, it's more important when people get to like be jealous of you. Be jealous of what? You carrying around my bus and this is gonna be look, you hear it clunking in there? I don't hear anything clunking. That's all in your imagination. You around so long, you don't know what's in it. You don't know what's you're happening. You're right, you're right. Yeah. I don't know. No. But I want some ladies to be here. <laughs> Flip this sign open. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm here ready to I, I know you guys are like single and you don't have any boyfriends because you all are single. So, and I'm still married. You got me this wonderful gift. Oh, you got a puzzle. I didn't know what it was. It's so nice to have a buddy. Oh, my God. This is, yeah, this is what you want. Right? Yeah, this is what I want. Uh -huh. And okay. yeah, since you're my best friend, I want you to have it. Okay, I'll have it. And unlike you, and probably every other person who gets a box that never gets anything, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna see what's inside. You don't need me just like walking around in a big cloud of mystery about what's inside and who cares for me. I don't want to get a part of the other one. This is the longest bus. Did you ever never have Christmas? I mean, it's just one. Oh my God, Tandy. Oh, you brought, you brought the gift. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the funeral's about to start, so you just, you just put the gifts over there by the casket. The family's about to walk in. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna open it right before we close right. the, the casket door. That is a nice gift. That's that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so, since everyone's here, I just broke the window. Since everyone's here, <laughs> you know, Dad passed away, and all of us are in town. Yeah. Tammy's just a big sister. Just open your gift first, Tammy. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Wait. Okay. First. Okay, this is a last minute gift. I didn't know we were supposed to bring gifts on funeral. So I just grabbed what was in the back seat. Standard funeral. It's a standard funeral. <laughs> just, you know what? I want a gift. I want to send that off in the right way. Start to 
you're the first. I got this from this lady who comes in the beauty shop all the time. <laughs> and she's just been carrying around the box. Oh, was she like a booster or something? No! She just had a box and her husband gave it to her and she was all proud of it. Okay. And I was like, that's stupid. And before I got a chance to open it, my, my business burned down. <laughs> ran out. So I had my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You did put your insurance on that building. Yeah, yeah, yeah of oh, course. So you must have spent some of that on this really nice No, gift. I told you it was this, the gift from the lady, so really, you can't even look at this as my gift today, right? Oh, we're going to look at it. That's gift rules. This is you, from you. You brought it. Okay. Make sure Dad can see it. Yeah. Oh, let me just make sure I can turn his head. Stop. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. Are you live feeding? Yes. <laughs> it's just a card. It's a card. Oh, what? Card. Why did you put a card in the box? Why did you put a card in the box? Why did you put a card in the box? Oh, not in your way! I told you! Oh my god! Oh my god! Just, just like this is toilet paper with different phases of shit on it! <laughs> to the right, um, this is the Chase Towers. We don't uh, it's a pretty nice building, has a, like a million windows. I like to come here and take my dates real late at night. It's so pretty, you know, women like to see really nice tall buildings. Right? Hey driver, it's like the 56 Montrose Westheimer. Just drive, we don't need a tour. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, uh, hey, uh, driver, do you mind if I get up for a minute? And, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. I'm gonna walk to the top and then take a rest and walk back down. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, my God. Bruno Mars album. So you can jam to some Bruno Mars. I gotta get to my wedding. I don't have any friends to take me to the church. This is the last ditch effort to get to there on time. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'm on a bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, no, I was on time. I checked the schedule. Um, Come on, bus driver, please. You can't give tours. I, if I don't show up, that woman's going to think that I don't want to marry her, and I will never, ever, ever get my cat back. She's <laughs> never <laughs> This would just be the worst breakup ever. Are you singing? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just a real Mars. What were you saying? I'm just saying if we could just please, please, just just continue on our journey. I gotta get off on time. I gotta get to the church by three. Please. So you want me to leave our uh, one of my one of my clients, as you can say. It's not a client. You don't have a personal clientele. He paid the bus. He can get on another bus, please. Alright. Get we're gonna pull the door slowly. Hopefully okay. you do like an Indiana Jones thing to the door. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh you made it! Oh, yeah, I got you. <laughs> How was your rest? How was your rest? Oh, it was great. Yeah. You took a nap? Quick nap? What? It's 2.37, please, you gotta get me the <laughs> Starbucks to make sure Starbucks can get him some caffeine. He looks oh, like he's close. Do you mind if I, you know? So, Mr. Bus Driver, are you married? My name is Gerald. Okay, Gerald. <laughs> are you married, Gerald? Yeah, uh, I'm married, and I love what I do because I don't have to go home. <laughs> I can pick up as many routes as I need. Gerald, I want to get to that point, okay? I want to, I want to get to the point of marrying the person I love and just getting so tired of them that I don't want to go home. But if you don't get me, if you don't get me to the church on top, it's never gonna happen. So you are waiting on your prospective husband, I guess. No, I know my wife. I know. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah but we're, 
Look at the rear view. I know I'm bitching like a woman. Yeah, yeah. But look at the rear view. Um, you're trying to start this ceremony. Did you find your husband? Or his husband to be? No, no, I, I don't see him anywhere. We're running out of cat food. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew he was going to do this to me. He was just going to leave. He's going to leave. Don't cry. Don't can, I, can I just say, as the maid of honor, I knew he was going to do this to me. <laughs> Next stop, we usually do a James Brown contest. <laughs> and if you can beat Larry, yeah, the guy that just did the Indiana Jones, he has the meanest James Brown. If you can beat him, I'll make sure you get there on time. Are you kidding? You are the I'm kidding. You know, I poured my heart out to you. You're gonna help make me risk all my life's happiness, that woman's happiness, for a James Brown contest. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. DJ, hit the record. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 